Hi boys and girls. Today we are on lesson 13. Our I can statement for today <clears throat> excuse me, is I can relate manipulative representations to subtraction algorithm and use addition to explain why the subtraction and method works. So today we start with our application problem, so let's get started. It says, a fruit seller buys a carton of 90 apples. Finding that 18 of them are rotten, he throws them away. He sells 22 of the ones that are left on Monday. Now, how many apples does he have left to sell? So basically what this problem is saying is that a fruit seller had 90 apples, and when he was looking at his apples, he realized 18 of them were no good. They were bad. They were rotten, so he had to throw them away. So he had to take those 18 away first. Then he looks at his apples, and he's selling the remaining of them. He only sells 22 of the remaining apples. So first, we have to do 90 minus 18. So on my board, I have my read, draw, write checklist. I'm going to check off the read because we read our problem. And I have 90 minus 18 because of the 90 apples he started with, and he threw out 18. So I have my place value chart here, and I always start in my ones column. So I have 0 minus 8, but I can't do that. So I'm going to trade in 110 for 10 ones. So now this only has 8, and this has 10. So now we can do 10 minus 8. So I'm going to take oops away 8 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How many ones do I have left? Good. I have 2 ones left. Now I'm going to do 8 minus 1. How many tens do I have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 72. So he had 72 apples that he could sell. So on Monday, he went and opened his store and he had 72 apples. So I'm going to draw 72. But he sold 22 of them, so we have to take away 22 to figure out how much he had at the end of the day of Monday. So we start in our ones column and do 2 minus 2. Now how many left in our ones column? Good, 0. Now we're going to do 7 minus 2. So we're going to call 2 in our tens column, and how many are left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are 50 apples left at the end of Monday. So he has 50 left to sell. So we've read our problem, we've drawn our picture, and we've written our word sentence. Nice work. So now our next problem says 244 minus 121. And they want us to use a place value chart, but they also want us to use a number bond. So if we look at this, we have 244 minus 121. I'm going to draw my place value chart. And over here, I'm going to have my number bond. So I have 244 minus 121. So first I'm going to show 244. So I have two hundreds, four tens, and four ones. Now our big number, our number we're taking away from, we know is 244. We know that one of the parts is 121 because we know our two parts come together and they make our whole. So now we're looking for our other part. So we have two hundreds, four tens, and four ones. We always start in our ones column and we're going to take away four minus one. How many ones do we have left? Good, we have three left. Now we move over to our tens column and we're going to do four minus two. So we're going to cross off two tens. How many tens do we have left? Good, we have 
two. And then finally, we're going to go to our hundreds column, and we're going to do two minus one. How many do we have left? Good, one. So our answer is 123. So our other part of this problem is 123, because when you add 121 plus 123, you get 244, because these two parts come together and make our whole. Now we're going to check out another one. Oops, too fast. And our next one, we're going to do the same thing. So we have 312 minus 186. And we have our 100 tens and ones column and our number bond. So if we look at our number bond and our problem, 312 is going to go up top because that's our big number that part these two parts come together and make that whole number and one of our parts is 186. The other part we are still looking for. So first we're going to show 300, 110, and two ones, which makes 312. Now we're going to take away 186. So we're going to start in our ones column and do two minus six. Can we do that? No. So what we need to do is do two minus six. So we're going to take our 110, Trade it in for 10 ones. And now there are zero here and there are 12 in our ones column. So now we can do 12 minus six. Let's cross off six ones. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's see how many we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 12 minus six is six. And now we need to do zero minus eight. Can we do that? No. So we need to trade 100 in for 10 tens. So now we're going to do, we took a two, 100 away and now we have 10 tens. So we're going to do 10 minus eight now. So let's take away eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We only have two tens left. And now we can do two minus one for our hundreds. How many hundreds do we have left? Good, we have one. So we have 126. So our two parts are 186 and 126, and they come together to make our whole of 312. So now we're going to take a look at our problem set for today. And you notice that our problem starts starts on number two. That's because I didn't want you to do number one. So you're going to be using your place value disk and your chart, as well as the number bond to help you. So part A is done for you. And then part B, you're gonna do three, 138 minus 19. You can check your work by doing adding the 19 and your solution, what your answer is from 138 minus 19. So whatever your answer is, plus that, add that to 19 and you should get 138 if your answer is correct. Just like they did in part A. Part C, D, E, and F is the same thing. And G, H, I, and J is also the same. If you have any questions, please let me know um, we will be doing a Zoom meeting at 1 to help check in and do, um, if you have any questions, um, make sure to send a picture of your work to me or Miss Vu so you can get credit. Keep up all the hard work. I'm so proud of you all. I miss you all and I love you guys. Bye.